What does this remind you of? A unit. One unit, okay? And since decimals are fractions written in the place value system, we're going to be using pieces smaller than that. So now we have to get some pieces that are cut up into ten of those, like one tenth of that to make a tenth, and then we have to cut those up to make hundredths. So can you see that okay? I don't think you can. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it larger. You ready? Clap your hands and blow. Hey, there we go. So this is now going to be one. And it's green to remind us that it's one. And this is the what? Decimal, Decimal point. point saying, welcome to fractions land. Welcome to fractions land. And we're going to call this a tenth because it has the ten and it's blue. But don't forget, it's totally smooth. And we're going to call this the hundredth, right? Okay, so let's write these down. This is one, this is one tenth, this is one hundredth, or this is one, this is point one, this is point zero one, right? Okay, decimals. If you can think in terms of money, you are in really good shape with this, okay? So think in terms of this is one dollar. What's a tenth of a dollar? A dime. What's a tenth of a dime? A penny. Now think about this. Everybody knows there's a hundred of these in this, right? But there's also ten of these in this and ten of these in this, right? Or a tenth of this is this and a tenth of this in this. And what's a tenth of this? Thousandth. And that's a little piece that's about this big. Okay, what's a tenth of that? Okay, so that would be tenth, hundred, thousandth, ten thousandth. But we're not going to work much with those, so don't worry about them. All right, now, do you have any blocks that are like this in front of you? No. Well, let me tell you what you've got to do. You've got to pick up your algebra inserts kit. And your algebra inserts, it's called algebra decimal inserts, and in that kit, you have lots of pieces. And these pieces, you snap into the back. So you should have a green piece that you snap into the back of your hundreds piece. And that makes you have a one, right? So you have one at your desk. Then you take your blue 10 bars, and you snap into the back of that a smooth blue piece and that's going to represent that and then you have little red cubes same size as your green ones except these represent what hundredths pennies okay now I'm not going to use the small ones because I gotta work up here so now in this lesson we're gonna work on adding decimals adding decimals is really simple if you understand adding money so the first problem we're going to do is we're going to try to add, and I'll write it up here. Let me move all this down a little bit. 1.56 or 1 and 56 hundredths. Now, you notice that how you read decimals? You could say like pennies, 56 hundredths, 56 cents, or you can say 1 and 5 tenths and 6 hundredths, right? We're going to add to that 1.23, okay? So now I've got the 1 up here, and I've got my decimal point here. So now I need 5 more of the blue tenths, and I'm going to need 6 of the little red hundredths. Got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Added to that, I'm going to put 1 and 2 tenths and 3 hundredths, okay? Now, oftentimes what books will tell you when you're doing this is, in order to add decimals, you have to line up the decimal point. What does that mean? Now, with the blocks, you can see easily. Which one are you going to add? Green to green, blue to blue, red to red. This is easy, right? 
So you just simply say 6 plus 3 is 9 hundredths. 2 tenths plus 5 tenths is 7, seven tenths. And 1 plus 1 is 2. two. This is easy. But if you don't have the block, sometimes people make mistakes and they go like this. 1.56 plus 1.2, and they put the, um, I'm sorry, they put like the 1.23 like that and they add them up. And you get 3, 8, 6, 1, something goofy like that. And so what they tell them is if you line up the decimal points, then you will be able to add units to units, tenths to tenths, hundredths to hundredths, right? So always remember to line up the decimal points so that you're adding the same kind. To compare, combine, you must be the same kind. kind. Okay, very good. I wanted to do another problem on this lesson because I want to show you regrouping. Now regrouping is the same. If you're thinking in terms of money, okay, you have nine. Well, let's see what the problem is first. 1.79. Plus, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, point five four. So we're going to add the 9 plus the 4, and we know that if we have one more penny, or one more hundredth, we're going to be able to swap that for a tenth, or a dime, if you're thinking in terms of money. Oh, come on off there, you little guys. And I'm going to have to regroup and carry that next door, right? And so I'm going to put a 3 here. There's our 3. Put 1 up here. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Goodness. We could take 10 of these dimes, or 10 tenths, and we could swap them for what? A dollar or a one unit. I'm just going to slide these off because they're too hard to pick up. And where does this guy live? Got to take him over here. So now we have three in the tenths place, and we carried one, and now we have 2.33. Does that make sense? But nothing tricky about decimals. It's the same thing because they're part of the decimal system, just that we're doing fractional numbers instead of whole numbers.